I don't really have any interest in playing the Naga dude to discover cards from my deck. I don't want, like, non-undead minions, basically. Like, I'm just putting bad cards in my deck at that point. I also just don't play very many spells. Um, we're gonna mulligan all this against this warrior. Okay, we have a puppeteer, which is good. Speak to me. Double puppeteer. Okay. That's pretty sick. So they forge very likely a uh, very likely bellowing flames are sanitized. Could be watcher. All right, we have a seamstress to clear that. It's a very good card to get in, get in our hand when we're starting the Puppeteers. Quilter's actually our best our best finisher because does like it can be used on a board that has stuff on it, whereas no muncher can't. Okay. We really don't want these to get, like, Reno'd away or something, but... Okay. Deal. The Citadel stands strong! You could use a scream. Clear Alright, I am gonna attack these guys in again. Like, re getting Renoed with both these in play would be really, really bad. Okay. That's so much pan buffing. Uh huh. Okay, so I. Enormous dudes and hit you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I think I'm just primusing. Yeah. Primus make dudes. I'm gonna take Soul Cage. It's insane with Quilter here. I'll make sure you suffer. Okay. He's a symptom of life. Yep. They've already used Blast Charge. Sure. So, okay, we're going to do this. We'll take this. I'm going to blood tap. I'm going to quilter soul cage. And kill you. Just take 22 from quilters. Ba -ba 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 boom So, and a lot of people are like, why don't you play Soul Cage in your deck? Because you get to do things like that. And the reason is, a lot of times it sits in your hand and you don't get a chance to build up to play a gigantic quilter in most matchups. Against Control Warrior, 
Soul Cage is super good because you just need to set up one big guy and then copy it and they explode after, you know, they, they have a turn where they use their removal. But in most matchups, it's just going to rot in your hand. So that's why I love discovering it, but don't have it in my deck. I will keep... I'll keep these two. The most important card is Casualties, but there's not that much else that's better than these. It's just Casualties. Swarm Guard's also great. If I draw Swarm Guard, uh, we're just going to cast this, even without buffs. Okay, Seamstress is also How excellent. Okay. We will play the Panner. There is Swarm Guard. Okay, that's excellent. Is it okay to take a break from Arsenal if you're enjoying it? Absolutely, of course. It's a game. You should be playing it because it's fun, not because you feel compelled to. Coin. Ball of Spiders. Okay. Ball of Spiders is sort of interesting because I, I get to kill one of these. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to Hero Power. Well, am I? I am. I'm going to Hero Power. Clear one of these. Clear one of these. And I'm just casting this for one. The reason being Swarm Guard with even a single buff is so good against Hunter. And I want to just play it next turn. Uh, I have been playing Hearthstone since it came out. I've been playing since before it came out. I was in the closed beta. Although I didn't play that much in the closed beta. Here we go. This is just like such an incredibly strong tempo play here. Especially given that they already used this, right? Ever been rank one? I've been rank two. Never been rank one. I've also never really tried to be rank one because I find it much more fun to explore new decks than to you know, try to optimize the same decks that, you know, other people are already playing and such. So, yeah, let's go ahead and play this Puppeteer. We're gonna do this, this, kick out the poisonous one. Yeah, the Awakened Trevor's nerf coming up real big here, that's for sure. Ooh. Okay. The Origami Crane. Sick. Well. This is mostly just kind of a matter of, like, how do I want to kill you? Yeah, let's draw with this. Do I want to draw with that? Or do I want to just play this? This, this, this. Wait about the fight. Yeah, it's better to do this. Ooh. Good and good. Yeah. This is just so many stats. It's just the most stats I can put into play right now, which is really worth. Uh, I haven't really played Hero Power Druid very much. I played a little bit. I do want to kind of explore it. Um, Hero Power Druid and like Dragon Spell Druid, uh, with especially with Aviana with the buff, are both things that I want to explore but just haven't quite yet. Oh yeah, that's such a good draw right here. It's actually, I could even do this. I think I actually, yeah, we're going to do this first. I'm gonna yodeler you. You're gonna trade here. We're gonna seamstress this for 12. And hit your face. And now I have 7 9 Swarm Lord. Or Swarm Guard. And they're pretty doomed. I guess this should be in the middle in case they have Hollow Hound, but they really don't look like a Hollow Hound deck. I guess they could just have it from Ball of Spiders anyway, so. Just a 12 attack Life Steal Rush Minion, no big deal. Okay. Sure. Okay, you can kill it. You can kill it. Eh. Never forget. They basically need to, like, Painted Canvasaur for triple poisonous. And then honestly, probably still lose. They've already played two Ball of Spiders, so I strongly doubt they're a Reno deck. <laughs> okay. So they could. So they could have 
uh, saddle up plus bunny stomper get uh, a uh, get the uh, what's it oh, they got a poisonous guy okay but they could get the cow bunny stomper and a leoc and that's infinite clear because the 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 but uh, bunny stomper plus cow with the leoc buff just keeps coming back as a four power guy and you can clear through any board they didn't do it so we did it we won